everyone, I'm Kelly Lee, and today I am really excited about the recipe that we're going to be making today. Now we know knowledge is power and you can get information by googling or reading books but you can also get information by your elders, them sharing the information with you, information being passed on from generation to generation. Now today I had an awesome opportunity to speak with four Bajan Golden Agers. Well this week I got to speak with four Bajan Golden Agers and they got an opportunity to share with me what they included and how they made an old time Bajan soup. And I'm gonna share the information that they shared with me with you today. One thing these ladies all have in common is that they lived abroad for over 40 years. It shows that you can take the girl out of the country, but you can't take the country out of the girl. So I wanna say a special thank you to the amazing Rosita Springer from New York. Also, to the awesome Terry Oxley from Connecticut. Not forgetting the one of a kind Hyacinth Williams from New York. And finally, the unforgettable Doris Haynes from Philadelphia. Thank you ladies so much for the information that you shared with me and I hope to do you justice as I make this all time Bajan soup. So, let's go over the ingredients. We have half of a small pumpkin. This is a must, chopped. We have three large English potatoes, also chopped. Half a cup of yellow split peas. This is absolutely essential. We have three edos. Bajan soup must always have edos. Half of a small sweet potato, chopped, nice and rustic. Half of a small yam, also chopped. There are lots of ingredients here. We have half of an onion, medium sized chopped, and half of a small yellow, sweet pepper, salt to taste, three quarter teaspoon of black pepper to bring the heat, and half a teaspoon of paprika. We must have our Bajan seasoning. We have fish. Now, whatever soup you're making, the protein determines the name. If we're using chicken, we're using fish, we're using beef, that determines the soup. We're using fish today. So we have six steaks of billfish seasoned. We have a bouquet garni, which is just some herbs we have tied together. I'll tell you a little more about that. And some dumplings. Now, according to Rosita, the order with which you put your ingredients into the saucepan is very important. So, we're going to start with our peas and our pumpkins. Now, I got this amazing tip from Terry of Connecticut and she said, you must use yellow split peas. And once you have the yellow split peas, you have to use a yellow pumpkin. This helps with the amazing color that you're going to get from the soup. So we're going to add our pumpkin and our split peas to the saucepan now. And she said, make sure you add half of the pumpkin first because we want the pumpkin to boil away till it completely disintegrates and adds more flavor. And then we're gonna add the remaining pumpkin to the end so you can actually get a bite of the pumpkin as you eat the soup. So let's start cooking. First in is the split peas and pumpkin. So we're gonna add our onion because we're gonna season everything up. We're gonna add our onion. We're gonna add our salt, pepper, and paprika. So we can season this up here and we're going to add our bacon seasoning so that as our pumpkin cooks, it just absorbs all of the flavor. Now, I also heard from Doris, one thing that you must include is salt beef. And Terry also echoed that. She said as long as she was cooking soup back in the day or her mom cooked, she always included pigtail. So I asked, can I have soup without pigtail or without salt beef? And she said, yes, you can do it. If we're doing fish soup like we're doing today, you wouldn't include it. But those Bajan ladies back in the day always included salt beef or pigtail. But today we're gonna use pot salt because we're making fish soup. When making soup, it's important to always test for seasoning. Just keep tasting it throughout the cook to make sure the seasoning is up to par. And according to Anne, you must have that Bajan seasoning in there. Once that green season is in your soup, you are guaranteed to have a super tasting soup. 
Now that our pumpkin is nice and soft, we're gonna add all of the other ingredients. We're gonna add the edos, the yam, the sweet, pep, the sweet potatoes, the English potatoes. We're gonna add the bouquet garni, which is just a mixture of the herbs together. And we're gonna add our fish. Now one tip that Hyacinth shared with me was one of her favorite soups was oxtail soup. Oxtail soup can take hours to prepare. But I said, for me, I will use a pressure cooker. But she said, no, no, the soup will take two hours to prepare. So they're gonna take their time back in the day and they're gonna make that soup. According to Terry, if you're making your soup and you realize the broth looks a little thin, rather than adding a roux like we would do in 2020, which is equal parts of butter and flour, we're gonna take whatever pumpkin we can see, and we're gonna crush it with a fork against the side of the pan, of the saucepan, and that should help to create some body. Alternately, you can add a few pieces of pasta, and that helps to create a thicker body. So we're just gonna crush some of the pumpkin against the sides, and that should create the body that we need. Our last ingredient to include when making this soup is our dumplings. Now, all four of these golden agers said, you cannot have a Bajan soup unless you have dumplings. However, they differed in how to make these dumplings. So I'm gonna share with you how to make dumplings in a separate video. But just as the soup is about to finish, we're gonna add our dumplings. Our old time Bajan soup is now done and it smells amazing. You can see the pumpkin, you can see the yam, the English potato, definitely the fish, and of course the split peas. And like Doris would have said to me and Terry, if you add a little bit of baking powder, the dumplings will float to the top. If you don't add a lot of it, they will sink somewhere to the bottom. So I'm gonna give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to make this. Now it's time to taste. Now Terry is still in Connecticut, Hyacinth and Rosita are still in Brooklyn. But Doris is here in Barbados, so I'm gonna take this soup over to her so she can let me know if I was able to recreate an old time Bajan soup. And I'll share that with you. this old time Bajan soup recipe I want you to look over here see some of my other soup recipes and once you've watched them all just click the button below and subscribe and remember to leave me a comment I love hearing from you